Hey guys and gals, never here from Drake Queen Gaming. It's subbing me on Twitter, the Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming back at you another Let's Play episode of Violet Memoir Oscar's Path. So, yeah, before we jump into it, just wanted to let y'all know that our Patreon is now for as little as $5. Y'all can help support the channel, get some awesome rewards like permanent access to our community Discord server and full access to upcoming Not Safe for Work videos. Anyway, y'all, let's go ahead and jump right back in. Alarm chain, you were up, and let's go. There we go. All right. I think yesterday must have taken its toll on me. I'm sorry for keeping you, for keeping you stuck here. Are you kidding? I would have laid there all day with you if I could. Maybe drag you out for a dip and a trip to the club. Now that sounds like a perfect day if you ask me. I stay there for a little while longer, enjoying the sun peeking through the open curtains. Selwyn must have opened those before I before he left. Oscar's right. I could easily just sleep here all day if we're not careful. I push myself off the otter and slide the blankets down, much to Oscar's amusement. Is the fun finally over? We should get up. You have practice and classes soon, right? Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you. Coach said he was gonna be late, so practice got delayed. So it looks like we'll be having to we'll be going to the football team first. What about your classes? Only the afternoon, baby. I'm a free otter in the meantime. How about you, little guy? And no classes today. That makes him sit up with a look of pleasant surprise. I had to force myself to look away or else I'd stare at his tense features. What would Lily say if she saw us like this? God, what would my parents think? I just I can imagine my mother's teasing and dad would have been so confused at how a stud like Oscar even noticed me on his radar. I wonder what Marcus would have said. He probably would have, he probably would have scolded me. Guys like him aren't bed material. I need to actually talk to him and they'd get along great because Marcus was always weak to people who made him laugh. Yeah, that sounds like him. Hey, Earth to Wallace, hello! Huh? S sorry, what did you say? Sounds like you were daydreaming, hopefully about me. I was just saying that you got lucky to not have any classes on Friday, no less. Talk about a student's dream. Despite it being so early in the morning, barely past eight, he's already so full of energy. His hands are expressing his feelings more than his words, and his smile is like a canvas showing a doorway to his mind. Now I'm gonna head back to my frat and get changed into something more serious. You should take a shower and meet me on campus in around two hours. Unless you want me to join you. I'll put up with some smelly clothes to help a guy out with cleaning, of course. I'll be fine, but it's no problem. No sweat. You should check your phone. Papa Bear's been blowing it up big time. Oh. I'd completely forgotten to text everyone to let them know that everything was going okay. Lee and Lucas already have a big have a, already have a bias against Oscar. No wonder they assume something bad, even if it's very unfair. I fumbled through my discarded clothes pockets of it, nearly falling off the bed in the process. Oscar thankfully grabs my shoulders and keeps me steady. Calm down there. We're in no rush. Yeah, sorry. My nervous giggle is enough to dissuade any of Oscar's worries. Not that he showed much to begin with. And I'm finally able to locate it on the floor under my shirt. It must have fallen out at some point. I see a flurry of messages from numerous different people. The ones that catch my attention the most are from my mother and Selwyn. I alongside Lucas and only, only had a single message each unlike, unlike each unlike Lily's 3 and Lee's 15. Mom was mostly checking up on me, but the end of it caught my attention the most. I'd briefly mentioned Oscar to them on the call in the library, and they were amazed that I'd made such a... a sporty friend. I'm glad I didn't send them a, f send them a photo of him. I, I know her, and she'd be asking me all kinds of questions I don't want to hear about. When I came out, the questions didn't stop for days. Someone's text is simple, but it's enough to set my face alight once again. He looks really cute cuddled up to Oscar. Hope we can do that sometimes, too. Your fur looks so soft. Our fur is so rough. Jesus, Selwyn, it's so, he's so front about it. He puts Oscar to shame. There's no hidden innuendo or implications, it's just raw honesty. Eh, I'm not even sure how to respond to that. I'll just talk to him later. Afterward, I placate the rest and assure Lee that only that not only did we not bang, but Oscar was a gentleman, even if I have to over-exaggerate some parts. It's for the best, though. They're, they're much too hard on him. By the time I finished on my phone, Oscar's ready to leave, even if his shirt is still missing. It's a good thing he didn't bring anything with him. Second hell, water time. Oh, yeah. That's a good water. Are you going out like that? Yeah, my shirt is a little too sweaty today. I told you, I don't like wet shirts. It's not too far of a walk, and I don't think anyone's going to complain. Before before I go, though, he tugs me over, and I'm once again reminded of how little, I am cover, how little I'm covered at the moment. Oscar might have his pants on, but I'm still in my underwear. I expect him to wrap me around in another side hug, but he just lifts my chin to get a good look at me. Ooh, ooh excuse me. There's a little glint in his eye that lets me know he's having a bit of fun, but he does seem to be to be seriously inspecting me. Are you sure you're doing okay, man? I was serious when I said I could stick around if your feel is still feeling heavy. I told you I'm doing a lot better. You two really brighten my mood. I mean it. You should still sell that later. 
He'll be over the moon, but I'm not Papa Bear, so consider it forgotten. I need to think about that bad stuff anyway. Yeah. I know it's correct to not dwell on it too much. Lily's right when she said it was likely just a fluke and would never happen again. But staring at the notebook reminds me of everything that happened, including that missing segment. I didn't even check to see if it was missing. I'll have to do that tonight. The rest of the morning went smoothly, though I missed Oscar's presence almost immediately. I have expected him to come bursting into the shower with me, but everything was normal. What sadly wasn't normal was a little intervention I was invited to. I re-entered my room to find my phone buzzing like crazy. Apparently the others weren't so reassured by my messages and wanted to talk before I meet up with them again. Lily tried to placate them, but Lee wasn't having any of it. From the sounds of it, Lucas wasn't too approving either. Looks like they don't have much faith in Oscar. Nothing new, I suppose. I didn't particularly have any plans for after for after hanging out with Oscar today, except maybe seeking Selwyn out. I enjoyed our little time together. Maybe he'd like to meet the last two members of our group. In the end, nothing important happened, and my two free hours were sucked away in a flash until the meeting time arrived. I almost panicked when I realized Oscar didn't tell me where, I'd, where we'd met him until he sent a message saying to meet him near our media classroom. We've only been to, a, been to lecture hall once, but so much changed because of it. Despite not even a week passing, I've already made some new friends and we've gotten pretty close. I'm grateful I decided to take this class on a whim. Knowing me, I'd end up just hiding away in my room and not making any friends. Just like high school all over again. But now I got friends who want to spend time with me. I'm not entirely sure what I did to deserve it, but they seem to enjoy my company. I'm glad Oscar isn't here yet. I'm not sure why I, f why I feel like I'm like I feel like just thinking those negative thoughts will cause the otter to pounce on me. He's never shy about letting me know how much he appreciates me. It's nice. I can't deny that it isn't endearing, but then again, everything about him is endearing. It's like he's the sun and he's making all of his all of us orbit around him, but in a fun way. It's hard to explain. Or maybe I'm just crushing on some really nice guy who seems really into me for some reason. I'm glad Lily isn't here. God knows if she caught wind of this, she. And my thoughts are displaced by the feeling of a large arm wrapped around my neck. It causes my fur to raise, but I knew better than to freak out. I've gotten used to the sudden dis to the sudden displays of affection out of nowhere. I'm not sure if that's a good thing or not, but I can't deny that it doesn't make my stomach whirl in the best way. There isn't even an, an, an there isn't even an ounce of surprise in my body to see a familiar otter. This time wearing that familiar blue shirt and khaki shorts. I always forget I always forget just how tight that shirt looks on him. Jesus, Wallace, what's going on with me? Hey, dude, you okay? You were zoning out pretty hard there. Y yeah, don't worry about it. That makes me that makes his smirk grow and a half witted look to glaze over his eyes. I can tell he knows exactly what I'm thinking. It's like he's psychic. Alright, just glad you're still doing okay. Last night was a bit of a scare, but it's nothing to stress over. Just focus on right now. Thanks, Oscar. I'll try. Good, now let's go meet up with these dudes. The team is pretty chill. I met a bunch of them at the local frat party, so no need to be scared. I hadn't even thought about that. For some reason, the realization that I'd have to meet up with the guys that likely could crush me with their biceps completely evaded me. I'm just grateful to have someone like Oscar around. I bet he's larger than most of them. They likely wouldn't pull anything. Not that I don't trust Oscar's word. Like, you know, water time. Come on, don't be shy! Before I can protest, he's already pulling me along with him across campus. I expected the football field to be nearby, but we head towards the edge of the central campus area. Where are we going? The central campus doesn't have a football field. They're on the east campus. It's only a block or two away, but you tend to find most of the team over there. How did you come how did you come across Conrad then? There's a gym over there too, but Conrad used to come over uh, come to our one though. We have a pool, so we're instantly better. I barely talked to the guy, but the few times I did, he was pretty cute. Shame I wasn't able to get to know him better. There's a somber tone to his voice, and it's kind of hard to find a response to that. Despite all his talking about Conrad, it's hard to think of him as someone who died. It reminds me of that diary page we found in the Nightmare. After everything that happened, I totally forgot about it. I really need to check the diary again. I know that entry was missing. We only found the second half of it. We only found the second half of the date. Despite leaving the campus, there's still a significant amount of students traveling the sidewalks. The other campus must be really close by if this, if this many people are just walking instead of, the, instead of taking the bus. It's not surprising that it only takes a few minutes to reach the next campus, which is bustling just as much as Central. The architecture here is slightly different. It looks older and cultured compared to the hyper-modernized building on main campus. Despite the buildings looking wider and feeling larger, there's a significant amount of extra free space between each building. It doesn't even look to have a quarter of the buildings a Central Campus has, though this is only the edge of it. Welcome to East Campus. This is where I spend most of my time in classes, when I'm not having fun. Economics is done on this campus alongside all the social studies and a few others. Most of the sports team, teams practice here. 
The team is a bit of an exception. There's fields, courts, and whatever you want, really. You used to play baseball, right? Yeah. You could give it a try. Next week, a sign-ups for all the clubs, including all the sports teams. Or you can give the swim team a shot. You'll never be lacking in the partner department as long as you got me. He gives me a wink that feels a whole lot more platonic than any he's given me before, but it's still, but it's still enough to have me nearly stumbling over my feet. I'm not really interested in it anymore. It was something I just did for family. I wasn't really that into it, nor very good at it. Well, what are you interested in? Uh, not much, really. I used to play piano, but not so much anymore. I'm not a very interesting person. Why? Why do you always do that? There's a seriousness in his tone that's jarring enough to wake me up from the relaxing lull that had fallen over me. Oscar's stare is hard enough to crush rocks, and he's lacking that smile I always see on him. What do you mean? You're always acting like you're boring and not worth being around. I wasn't... You were, man. I don't want you to think of yourself like that. You're a seriously fun dude, and there's no need to be so harsh on yourself. Everyone can discover themselves here. We're in college, after all. He reaches his hand out, and I expect him to pull a lee and pat my head, but he opts to just cut my cheek in his palm. There's a warm intimacy that I wasn't expecting that's radiating from his sparkling eyes. But he catches himself and pulls away after only a moment, leaving the heat lingering on my cheek. That smile has returned to his face, and he's looking away towards the campus, like he's trying to find anything else to focus on. A little redness peeking through his short fur around his ears are more than enough of a signal for his embarrassment. Something that always feels strange seeing on the endlessly smooth and confident otter. The field is this way. Practice doesn't start for another 40 minutes, but the guys tend to show up early to mess around. I see them nearly every time I'm around here. You think they'd be okay with us without asking them? I'm sure it'll be fine. Nothing like a little charm can't handle. Plus, if you're asking, people might be a little more loose, you know. Huh? You give off this innocent vibe that makes people gravitate around and help you. You, didn't even, you don't even realize you do it either. It's really amazing. I bet you would have been a hit if you just put yourself out there more. But maybe that would ruin your charm. There's something about the way he's talking that makes me notice something I didn't before. Oscar seems more articulate than before. He still has that casual and lackadaisical tone, but it just feels more structured than he usually is. I wonder if I did something to mess with his mood, or if it's something else. Come on, let's catch them! Don't want to have to cut our chat short because practice starts, right? Oh, yeah, you're right. I didn't think about that. So, you know, it is water time. This music's really good. All right. I gotcha. Now get that butt moving before I have to carry it again. Okay, okay. The spy just pushy words. The playful tone has both of us laughing as he wraps his arm around me. <sighs> I knew that every Everwinter had a heavy focus on their sports teams. I've heard numerous stories of the Everwinter football team making it to nationals constantly. The very loud fans made it clear as well. But I wasn't expecting what we, what we walked past on the East Campus. The field expands numerous blocks and houses more than just a football field, but there's areas for baseball and soccer. In the distance, I can see cages, which I can only assume are for tennis, badminton, and even a group for practicing for practicing baseball swings if the field next to it is any indication. Whoa. What was right? Everyone at college is considered an elite school for a reason. Sure, we're no Harvard, but we do pretty well around here. Everyone here wouldn't be anywhere near as big without this place. I knew this place was pretty intense for grades, and I'd heard how intense the locals got for the college sports, but I didn't know we were this huge. The field is filled with students running about. Most of them look to be preparing for practice, but there's a decent amount of them gathering near our side. With the benches, tables, and concrete pathways connecting to the scarce buildings, this is likely a common place for people to just meet up and hang out, maybe even watch some practice. The place isn't like a super elite. It's more on the lower end, but it still gets a lot of students scram cramming to get in. Education here looks great on a resume, and you get some pretty, pretty great perks. I can't believe I got in. I told you, this isn't some super, super elite. Oh, I'm going to pause all right, y'all, I'm going to go ahead and pause it right there. Thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell, and check out our Patreon if you can. It always helps. Now, before I leave, I'm going to give a brief shout-out to my wonderful patrons. Let's see right here. What have we got? Yeah, here we go. Thank you to all of our bronze-tier patrons. Y'all are awesome. I appreciate everything y'all do for the channel. And for our silver-tier patron, Cade Silvermoon, thank you so much for all you... Thank you so much for going a little bit, little bit above and beyond to help us out even more. And for our gold tier patron, Amer, or Amer, I'm not sure how to pronounce that. <laughs> Please forgive me. Thank you so much for subscribing to the highest tier. It definitely helps us. It definitely kind of cushions the blow of moving twice in the same damn year. It's, yeah, it, it, it definitely helps. And we appreciate all that y'all do for us. Anyway, thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and that notification bell. And I shall see you in the next video.
Bye-bye.